They've been let out from the movie dungeon. Please welcome to the stage, Tom, Simon and Tom. Hello. Hey, Josh. Hey, dude. Hello. hello. Howdy. How you doing? How are we sitting? Oh. oh. Just, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Oh, I hope I don't kick this over and... Uh, Shall I be a bit closer to you, boys? Are you going to go all the way over You're going to move the entire sofa? Actually, I quite like it being over here. <laughs> wow. Just away from the... Uh, wow. The men. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Should we say what Movie Dungeon is for people who don't know? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Tom. <laughs> do it. So, Movie Dungeon is a thing we do on Tom's channel where we just watch a movie beforehand, sit down, and talk about it. And or a whole Netflix series. Or an entire 10-hour Netflix series. Yeah. yeah, that happens. Won't do well. that again. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so uh, it kind of sparked because we talk about movies a lot more than computer that's, games. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, we were like, "We're funny guys. Let's turn this into a show. Let's monetize it." No one's ever done that before. Today is slightly different. We've not got like a specific movie that we're talking about. We're going to go in a more general, general area. Let's talk about the boy. Oh my God. Please. Okay. <laughs> so there's this weird doll. No, sorry. I drove these two mad because I'm obsessed with this terrible, terrible horror movie. But let's not. See, it's weird because they don't get the joke that for the last like two months you've just been saying, <laughs> let's just talk about the boy. It these two, constant. they love it. <laughs> they so hate funny. the film. Every time. They hate the fucking film yeah. so much. It's okay. It's not the worst movie. No. It's, I wonder what it is on like IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. Probably 20%. No. It. It's got to be some shit here. You're play The Price is Right with IMDb. Oh, da -da 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 is that the right music? I'm going to say no. 55. So we're going IMDb. Ooh. No, is it IMDb? Sure. Isn't it 5.5 .5 then? Oh, fine. 5.5. .5. Okay. Right. I am going to go 4.3. Ooh. Okay, what are you going for? You can't check before you, like... I've already seen it. I've already seen it. IMDb, they give it 6 out of 10, but a 42 meta score. Oh, okay. So, okay, so... So that's how bad this fucking movie yeah. is that they <laughs> never want to talk about. Yeah. Although, that's the sweet spot in horror films. Yeah, you don't want anything too high, because it's arty-farty bullshit. It just doesn't make any sense. And too low is just technically awful. Like, uh, my soul to take... Never heard of No idea what that is. Never heard of No, no. That was, was it Wes Craven? Like one of his last ones? No idea. Fucking shit. Awful. Awful. I think that's the one where like a serial killer dies and like a kid is born on the day that he dies or something. And they think that he might have been reincarnated. Okay. And his best mate is blind. Okay. But the blindness only matters when the plot sort of needs it to. Okay. Absolute terrible. Wow. I feel like I've already... Well, Josh, edit this out. We'll, we'll yeah, <laughs> normally, Josh will edit all of these awkward bits that just trail off into nothing. But this, for us, this is just warming up. We're just yeah. talking a bit of bollocks <laughs> before we get into the real A-quality, juicy, five-star material that we've I, got prepared. I'm worried that you're... That Tom's got prepared. You're overhyping this. <laughs> um, so we have... Tom brought something. So we have a list of kind of just vague talking points. Yeah. But also, we have um, the mystery box as well. Ooh! <laughs> that was loud. That was, that was really very loud. loud. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so the idea of the mystery box is going to be there'll be like a movie. You're going to have to pitch a movie okay. based on something from the mystery box. And whoever pitches it, the other two people are going to tear apart their idea. Do, do we have any time to think about it, or is it purely just... I think you have to just... I want, boom, and you get like a minute pitch. Okay, fine. Okay, it's a story of a, a horrible sort of Bigfoot man, and he's got a strange box that he carries with him everywhere. <laughs> wow, wow. Th does he have, like, sort of, you know, a real goofy uncle? He that, does, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Bit, sort of a big guy. Bit, bit less hairy. Looks like he spilled yogurt in his beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll let you pick something from the mystery box, and you can ask Simon this. How does that sound? Oh, and we could be ready. your... Critiques. Oh. Okay, okay, here we go. Here Are we you go. ready? Are you mentally prepared? No. Perfect. What is going to happen in the next paranormal activity film? Paranormal activity. Um, so you need to pitch the next paranormal activity film. Okay. 
It's like Jurassic Park, but it's shot found footage, and instead of them inviting archaeologists and, for some reason, a mathematician, they invite YouTubers, mm -hmm. okay? So they bring YouTubers to... Wait, it's... Isla Nuba? Yeah. Is there actually dinosaurs there? No, it's ghost dinosaurs. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. all the dinosaurs okay. are dead. Right, I'm in, I'm in. Very sold. This was in, what, 1993? That's a dinosaurs yeah. don't live long. How long till... <laughs> I don't know, actually. I've never seen one. But ghost dinosaurs. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> They're lying in bed, and next to them is a glass of water. And oh, I love it! Oh, that's so good! good. That okay. is so good! Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Just I the boom. love it. Boom. Boom. Oh, my God. Wow. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it's a velociraptor ghost. What, what, how are we going to rate that? <clears throat> okay, you're, uh, it's like IMDb. You have to give it what it will actually Wait, yeah. do. Wait, we have the old school style like cheerometer for how much they like that movie pitch. Do we leave that, sure. leave that to the audience? Yes. Okay, so uh, the next paranormal activity. Well, what's, what's the name? What can we think of a title for it? Like, uh, yeah. Per, per, is it Paleo, paleo Activity? Burassic Park. <laughs> Perfect. Jurassic Park. Okay, you know, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's good. Um, that's good brand. <laughs> I'm finding that really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like good. I'm glad so. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so how much do you guys enjoy the pitch for Jurassic Park? Give us a cheer. Okay, pretty good. I feel like that's, that's our bad. baseline. That's yeah, that's not bad. Okay. okay. So that's like 5 out of 10 IMDb. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's the baseline. That's the average. Okay. Five so, out of ten's average. So we've set... Jurassic Park is now the, the, the baseline. That's what we've got to beat. Yeah. Okay. What is your favourite horror movie? Is it The okay. Boy? It's Richard not The Boy. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Porcelain Doll. My favourite horror movie is The Shining, hands down. Stanley Kubrick. Jack Nicholson going mad in a hotel is absolutely... It's one of my favourite films, full stop. So it has wow. to be one of my favourite favorite horror movies of all time. Um, it's a very cliche answer. It is, but I can't, I can't help. I love Simon. We talk about favourite movies. Favourite, you know. Favourite. I mean, I thought, what, are, what about something trashy? What's your favourite, okay. like, trashy? Bad horror? Taste. Is, Bad Taste. It's one okay. of my favourite films of all time as well. Peter, Pete, Jackson's, Peter Jackson's first movie that he made with his friends uh, on, for like 20 grand. Uh, just saved up working at the newspaper or wherever he worked. Went out on weekends. Made, it's like, a, it's like um, aliens land in this little New Zealand town and, and eat everyone. And they're trying to turn... Are they a fast food, alien fast food company? Something like that. Um, so they, the, Peter Jackson is in it and his friends are in it and they're like this team of alien uh, fighters who come into this abandoned town and try and hunt down the aliens. And... Uh, it's just, oh, it's just that handmade, like... It's a practical effect. So good. Yeah, pretty gonzo. Just, like, the, there's alien masks in it, and the alien masks were, like, the, the size that they are and the shape that they are because that's the restrictions of his mum's oven when he was baking the masks <laughs> in it. So they, like, got this quite flat head because that's where he could get it in the, <laughs> in the oven. Oh. Uh, I just love the story behind it, and it feels like it's got... Well, see, that was great energy. Peter Jackson who went on to direct Lord of the Rings. Yep, Lord of the Rings director started just making a backyard movie about aliens eating people, just vomiting really... into bowls and eating the vomit. And, and he plays Derek in it, the Derek. paranormal investigator dude, yep. but incompetent. And he like cracks his head open and his brains spill out. He falls off a cliff after fighting with Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson plays the other guy with the beard. Oh. He fights himself on a cliff. Gets thrown off the cliff, hits the bottom, and his back of his head splits open. And his brains go. Everywhere. He has to push his brains back inside of seagulls trying to. He eat spends it the rest of the movie finding bits of brain and adding it to his head and holding it together with a belt. Oh, it's so good! Oh, I love it. Okay, the boy. Pitch us your movie, <laughs> Simon. The boy. Lane. Pitch me. What are you, what? What, what's your favourite horror film then? I don't know why you're this drawing is. this out because I think I know. You're just going to say Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park, the hit movie. I don't want to say the thing though. Oh, that it, is, sounds... it is so good. Though. I'd like Prince of Darkness. I haven't seen because, that. Because, like, Satan is like some sort of goo in a tube <laughs> underneath the church. Okay. Okay. Sam, goo Satan. Um, Does it speak? Is it like sentient goo? It, it... Kind of. It's like this merging of religion and science in this mm. movie. Ooh. And it's a whole group of scientists, but they're all like student scientists. They like go to like night school. Okay. And then they're sort of investigating shit, and um, yeah, 
It's like Satan is some sort of like cosmic entity, maybe mm -hmm. from a, a like a different dimension. Okay. Um, it sounds high concept, but in the actual reality of the movie is uh, Alice Cooper dressed as a homeless. It's person, that film. Being a zombie and attacking someone with a bike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, happy memories watching that film. And it's got a really dark, horrible ending to it as well. Ooh. And there's some weird sort of time travel thing hinted at throughout it. Like people are having this dream, but it's sort of like a message, that's slight spoiler, that's sort of been sent back from the future. So there's all this high concept shit. Okay. With like sort of nasty effects and some horrible, shocking... Is that like death. an early John Carpenter or is it... Yeah, it's pretty on? early. Right, okay. Part of it, I think it's the Apocalypse trilogy of the three movies that he did. Is the thing one of those? Yes, I think. Do they exist in the same cinematic universe? No, I think it's just a similar tone. A bit like the, the Cool Neto trilogy. That right, okay. right, okay. So the sort of loose themes that tie them together. Like the end of the world, basically. Mm -hmm. it's apocalypse. All right. Edit that out, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> is Josh even here? Where is he, he was. I fucking saw him. He, yeah, he, got, he got bored. He's gone. He's gone. He's out gone. of he's a busy. He's a busy boy. Yeah. I really like the movie The Descent. Is that, a, is that allowed to be said? Because it's, yeah. it's not super big, but in turn not... Is it the monsters that you like? I like the ghouls. The sort of mole men type people. Also, like that... So it's a movie all about caving, and the caves are full of ghouls. Um, and the idea of going spelunking caving, that just seems terrifying. Or without the ghouls. They didn't even need the ghouls yeah, no, for no, that no. movie to be horrific. So there's yeah. people getting trapped in between rocks and... It's all female cast. Yeah, yeah. By yeah. well, the humans, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, then there's ghouls down there, and there's a lot of good pickaxing. Not enough films have a good, like, pickaxe murder. Yeah. Um, really underrated. It does worry me slightly that you have that obsession. Is it a fetish? Mm, I, guess, I guess it is. <laughs> <Okay>. I guess <laughs> now <laughs> technically it is. Um, but man, The Descent, I just really like it. Really fun. It's got like t uh, two different endings. I think they had like oh, yeah. a happier ending yeah, and like a fake out ending. Yeah, they've got like the fake out end, um, which is way better. I yeah. Love, uh, where because it fits the sort of the nasty, cruel. The tone of it. Of also, it, it doesn't like because they keep descending down. Hence the name of the film. And uh, on the happy ending, she just like runs down a corridor and is oh, like free. And I'm you're outside. Like, <laughs> you've been going. You're like hundreds of meters underground. They're on a mountain, so they actually made their way. Oh, to oh just down to the yeah, yeah. level. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there's a logic. That's there. why there was a beach there. It's like one of those weird tiki bar? Is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I remember that bit of the end. So, oh, I'm really parched. <laughs> Can I have a pina colada? Yeah. I've been stuck in this fucking cave for three days. She's from York. She's not from Yorkshire. No, it's very American. Yeah, it's very American. So why were there two endings? or, or how did, Was it like a DVD extra, or did they release it in I, two different ways? I think it was just basically, they have the ending where she escapes. Uh, spoilers, um, and then the ending where it's actually she's gone mad right. and is just like shaking in the bottom of this place as everything, her light kind of goes out yeah. and yeah. you're just done for hundreds of meters underground. It, it goes There's um ooh. incident to Elk Creek Bridge sort of thing Don't know what that where is. like in the dying moment or uh, Jacob's Ladder. No? Yeah. Nope. Okay, well, I mean, I've spoiled both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay. Right, Tom, I feel like you should have a go on the mystery Oh, box. God, here we go, okay. Are you ready? Oh, I hope it's a movie pitch. <sighs> okay, here we go. You have to pitch the movie titled BFF's Best Freaks Forever. Best Freaks Forever. Okay, we're in a circus, right? A uh, early, when were the like early 20th century sort of, sort of circus, uh, the, the freak show, right? Uh, they are just, uh, it's like a buddy comedy uh, of freaks in a circus, <laughs> okay. and they're just hanging out, and it's like Seth Rogen style uh, oh, comedy oh, where... Like a stoner. stoner. Like a stoner <laughs> comedy uh, with the best freaks forever. Okay. Yeah? Well, they, I guess they are just taking like laudanum, and is it laudanum? Yeah, yeah, that's what you had for your nerves. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my nerves are a bit shaky. I'm going to take this fucking lord. And That's what they did back then. Bearded lady, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make a great bearded lady. That would be great. Yeah, you've got most of the assets. 
It feels so much worse here. <laughs> like, oh, when I say a name, like, it's just us two sat in a room. Maybe you shouldn't be so fucking mean to me, Tom. <laughs> so like, oh no. <laughs> that I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. oh. No. I feel with you, man. <laughs> oh God. I'm glad that I'm getting sympathy yeah. for my insult. Insult for you. Cool. Best BFF. Best freaks forever. That's that's my immediate pitch. Right, we need the cheerometer oh. to rate. I'm it. not I'm not hopeful for this one. Okay, and on three. One, two, three. Oh, Lo- yeah. lower than Jurassic Park, I think. That's two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, anything. two and a half. Yeah, man. You Sorry, I don't make the rules up. <laughs> Just yeah. like you. That's a, what it was. You've got a great ear. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. What is the most underrated movie? I'd have to say The Boy. <laughs> <laughs> is that just because it's us two sat here? Oh, God. Um, I think I'm going to go in. Go on, do it. Waterworld. Ooh. Oh, you love Waterworld, don't you? Just, Waterworld Ooh, is so long. such a good movie. It's so long. And people hate it because it's just Mad Max in the water. Yeah. And worse in every way. Yeah. But, oh my God, he's a fish man. He's got gills. He's got gills. I've got to say, I've only, I've only seen bits of Waterworld. I've never sat through a full... A it, full it opens movie. with him drinking his own piss. Oh. And that, you were just in. Just how is that ever, yeah. like, as a cold open to a movie? Pretty strong. Well, I think, I think um, maybe if it's true to the adaptation of um, J.G. Ballard's book, but I haven't watched the movie version, Ben Wheatley did of High, High Rise. Rise. Yeah. High Rise. Oh, I didn't see that. Like, I really wanted Which to. Which might well start with him eating a barbecued dog. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if they told it in that or oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I remember. No dog barbecues? Maybe it was in it, but not at the start. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't want people just to immediately yeah. walk out of the cinema. <laughs> I would say Cinema Paradiso. Is that okay. underrated? Is that yeah. underrated? <laughs> um, no, what was the... Um, I'm trying to think of the one that the bottom guys did. Does anyone remember what it's called? Guest House Paradiso. Thank you very much. Thank you, audience. Nice. So it's like the bottom movie. Right. So it's A. Edmondson and Rick Mayo. Okay. And they have a guest house. And it's like this ramshackle, horrible place. I never even And there's like a fucking like, nuclear power station okay. just up the road. <laughs> but like uh, Simon Pegg's in it, inexplicably. I guess it's before he actually got famous at all. Maybe he was just in space at that point mm-hmm. and nothing big. But there's a scene where, um, for some reason, and I can't remember why, Rick Mayo has a fishing line, and somehow it attaches to Simon Pegg's nipple ring. And I can't imagine what series of events led to that, but Simon Pegg's sleeping through it, and you can see like the skin stretching. Oh, God. And I think at one moment he says, Oh, Lady Diana, Princess of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's just an insane movie, and um, it did terribly, and everyone hated it, um, oh. except for like hardcore fans of, you know, Rick and Aid. Um, maybe it's like the scene where everyone just vomits, and the whole hotel just floods with vomit, like like it's a cartoon. Okay. Um, maybe that just put people off. Just the big vomit scene. Yeah. So it's like Waterworld, but with vomit. Ooh, Vomit World. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Ooh. That is horrible. Smelly. I wouldn't want to live there. Yeah? Okay, would you rather live in Vomit World or Diarrhea World? Oh, no! Like, you've got to choose right now. Go. Oh, Vomit World! <laughs> See, it's not that bad. Oh, it's the lesser of two evils. <laughs> so, Tom, underrated... I've been racking my brain. I can't, I can't think. So, throw out some, like, what are some underrated movies? Like... Because I can't think of the names of any movie I know. apart from The Boy, <laughs> which is annoying. This is this is this is the gold that normally <laughs> normally, normally gets, gets very heavily oh, edited. Right. Um, Instead, you can choose a topic. If I'll, you choose, want. I'll choose. I'll choose. I'll move I'll move swiftly on. The punishment is choosing a new topic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what movie would you personally like to remake? The Shining, so I can ruin it for you. <laughs> <laughs> they are doing a sequel. Have you seen that? They're doing oh, like, uh, yeah. Do- Mr. Sleep? Do- oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Sleep? Hugh McGregor. Jeff Sleep, I think it's Jeff called. Sleeps. Okay, boom. I've got one. Okay. Logan's Run. 
Ooh. Okay. So have you guys seen the movie Logan's Run? Old dystopian film. All One these people. Has seen Logan's Run. <laughs> Uh, it's like a like I think it was made in like the 70s or yeah. at least early 80s. Very 70s. Um, everyone lives in this like utopian society, but when there's they... basically Tinder has been invented, and that was the 70s, and they thought that was hot shit. <laughs> basically, and if you were horny, you were just like well, and people just like oh, I I am horny. I would like to have sex, and they're like I am also horny, and just you just have sex with everyone, and everyone was German as well, and so. apparently, <laughs> and okay. when you turn. 30, yeah. uh, you get killed. And that's the way they keep their utopian society running. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, but the movie ends with, like, I don't know, it turns out the computer that runs it is a bit, like, wacky, and this guy, he's like, I don't want to get killed. Mm -hmm. So... They, I think it goes they, downhill as soon as they leave yeah, the they, utopian society and they're in, like, ice caves or whatever the fuck. So they go through an ice cave thing and there's an ice robot that... Its job is to freeze fish, but it's also the final guardian... It's, it's bonkers. But they end up blowing up the facility because they trick the computer with like a paradoxical yeah, question or something. Yeah, there's a logical paradox. Um, they then escape and they meet someone who lives on the outside. And actually, outside of the city, it's all luscious forests and there's this old man who has cats. And so I'm sure there's is it like Washington, D.C. or somewhere. There's like the Library of Congress. Oh, something like that. And everything, so there's like vines and trees everywhere. And... This old guy, he's having a great time outdoors. He's got his cats, and they all go out, and it ends with a big party. So I'd remake the film, and I'd tell the beginning pretty close to how the movie is. Okay. I'd still probably keep the sort of like spandex jumpsuits, yeah. um, the weird teleport sex thing, because they teleport to their rooms and have sex with each other. And they do the escape, um, probably still have freezer bot, because that thing was just Ugh. ridiculous. Okay. They then escape, and great, big party. But then, that's when the real movie is really beginning. Oh. Because these people... How much time are we in? What's, what's the running time now? Oh, two and a half hours. We're two, two and a half we're, hours we're, we're, in. This is a long... And the is, real movie's about to start. <laughs> no, no, the first part is probably like hour and a half. Basically, I just want the end of the movie to... These people where you just press a button, your food appears, mm -hmm. you poop in the magic space toilet, um, all of your entertainment and needs are provided for. Yeah. They then go out. And there's this old man who's lived happily with his cats. They start eating all of his food. His he's, cats? He's going to die. Suddenly they eat the cats. No! They're all, they've always just pooped in the space toilet. They're, by a rip. They're getting dysentery. They turn on each other. It just make it go horrible. Right. And have this big thing about, like, oh, were they better off in their oppressive, horrible Diet 30 civilization? Oh. Or now, them just... Killing each other, oh, cannibalism, a lot of so sort of a, um, um, a sort of moral, a moral fable you're telling. Maybe where it turns out the authoritarian fascist society is. is I just is think good. that that idea okay. needs to be taken to heart more. Okay. Um, because I mean, they they get killed at thirty, and you know most people are quite happy about that. Well, they they don't know that they're getting killed. They're like, oh, come to this special room. No, they, There's a birthday cake waiting yeah. for you no, they go with to, 30 candles they on. They do carnival where oh. they all go into a big chamber and hover around and then lasers shoot them and they explode and everyone turns up and claps because they think they're, like, ascending. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it, by the way. Uh, but, oh, well, but Tom, spoilers. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Tom, how old are you? 31. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Just up the age. Just up the age uh, of it. Yeah, 31 years old. Oh, no, not a bit further. You're already done. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, but then I can do the escape and fight Freezer. Oh, okay, okay. And then um, right. I can just fucking kill you and eat your body. Me? And wear your head as a hat. Am I the guy with the cats outside? Yeah, yeah, an old guy that has cats. You... <laughs> Feels, feels that one didn't get an oh. <laughs> that was that one was true. Uh, so Simon, what movie are you remaking? I, f I feel like I want to go for like one of the one of the big guns. So Indiana Jones oh my God. Okay. remake with Chris Pratt. <laughs> Just why not? Ooh, why okay. not? Fuck it. Because it sounds awful. I'll get George Lucas to come up with a story idea. That's it, yeah. Because he's great at that, come up with ideas. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm into this. Sure. Um, he'll be fighting Nazis, as usual. Perfect. Um, 
I'll have to think. I think it'll have to be like the spear of long, long. The spear of destiny. Yeah, the spear of destiny. What's that? That's what they're after. It's the spear that was used to pierce Jesus and kill him. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, nice. The Roman soldier. To it. Yeah, okay. It was called long, longinus. But what does that do longinus. when longinus? Bam. Very good. What does that do when you when you get it? Is it just a cool spear? Um, I think it means you can conquer anyone. You can defeat anyone. Yeah, I think it, kills, it can kill anything. I think it's more like just it having it in your possession means you're all powerful. Right. And any battle you go into, you win. It's not thing? like an uber weapon that you can just poke mm-hmm. people with. Because that's just a spear. It's not even magical <laughs> power. Oh, I can kill anyone with a spear. All I have to do is poke them in the heart and they die. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> what was the other film that had the Spear of Destiny in? I don't know. It's in Wolfenstein, um, the the first one, three D. There's um, one. Well, there's one with like a. There's like a Mexican guy walking through the desert a lot. Constantine. Constantine. Bam. Oh fuck! Right. I forgot that. That. There's the whole thing. The whole plot about getting the Spear of Destiny. Well, I mean, the plot was a little bit. Yeah, it was all over the place. Yeah, I liked it when he had to stare into the cat's eyes, and his feet were in water. Yeah. So that he could go visit to, hell. Go to hell. <laughs> cats are linked to hell. Well, I think there's the, there's the concept that cats are between places. Between worlds. Because they always, when they're inside, they always want to be outside. When they're <laughs> outside, they always want to be inside. We're on the, when they're on Earth, they always want to get to hell. <laughs> like, somehow there was a logic there. Um, yeah. Pow. So, yeah. Uh, Indiana Jones with Chris Pratt. Story by George Lucas. Indiana Jones and the Spear of Death. Looking, yeah, that was, that's what it will be called. Yeah. And we'll bring back a uh, short round. <laughs> <laughs> Is he like 45 now, 50 years old? It'll be... Oh, no, it's, it's back in the... Uh, it's back in the oh, day. We'll bring oh, bring yeah, back yeah. the character, not the actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll be... Um, oh, Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what is the over-the-top kind of horrific death that happens towards the end of the... Seth Rogen gets killed. But how? Like, you've got had melty face, you've got, like, aging to dust, you need, like, um... He's smoking a giant blunt. Right, okay. But it turns out the papers were from the Declaration of Independence. Oh, how? <laughs> okay. Okay, great. And it's cursed him forever. <laughs> he smoked poorly. Oh! oh! <laughs> And he melts, and for some reason there's a little Nazi coin left over. <laughs> That's a bit weird. How did that happen? Right. What? Nice. What's yours? What's your movie? So for me, it's not... So I, I'm thinking Escape from New York. Ooh. Like a play... It's, like, it's almost like a little playground to go in, you know. Something like that, where... Uh, you Seth don't want to do another... Seth You've got course. Seth Rogen with an eye patch and a big beard. Oh, and no. he gets dropped in. Is it saving the president, Escape from New York? Uh, he's in New York's like a, a jail, right? Yeah, wait. Wait, which one's the president? Which is the president's daughter? It's the president. Yeah. Is it LA? The president is in like Air Force One gets attacked. He's in an escape pod thing and that lands in New York City. Oh, yeah. Manhattan Island, which is a high security. Well, it's not a high security prison. It's just a prison that if you try and leave, you get murdered. Yeah. So there's all these gangs there. And isn't he injected with like a a thing that will kill him if he doesn't do the job with him? Yeah. Just the the timer that leaves him down. Yeah. He's in with the. Serum or the bomb. I just love that it's like it's 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 a guy with an eye patch and a beard, and he's like got a certain amount of time to do a very specific job, and he just goes from A to B and and gets the job done. But it's Snake Plissken will will be played by Seth Rogen. Yeah, no, no. We got we need we need someone. Who's the Kurt Russell equivalent these days? You know, Chris Pratt. It's Chris. It's not. It's not Chris Pratt. (laughs) We can't always Uh, have Chris Pratt (laughs) in everything. Tom Cruise is too old now. It's Kurt the... Russell, right? Maybe we just yeah. bring Kurt Russell back. He's... What about what's Halo? Old, yeah, old Kurt old Russell. Kurt Russell He's going back again. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Going back to Escape from New York. That's what it's called. Ooh. Back. Right, that's catchy. Going back to Escape from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Break into New York. Ooh. Oh. He's escaping the real world because he can't handle it on the outside anymore. Unescape oh, from New York. Unescape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Get, get, you can make me pitch mm. the thing. Magic box. Sorry, while well, you're... Stay hydrated, guys. The, Stay the hydrated. Magic, the magic box. The secret box of mysteries. We have... Peter Jackson is going back to his roots oh. and wants you to write him a low-budget movie. What is your plan? This is my dream, by the way, for Peter Jackson to go back and do, like, bad Okay, tips. well, I'm going to 
play the Uno reverse card. Oh, no, you, you can't do that. You, uh, I want to hear your pitch. Are you allowed to I've already that? forgotten what it is. I didn't take it in. Do we get it's, one of them? So it's just any, it's not remake an old movie. It's just going to new, write a new movie. It needs to be a new low budget. It so it needs to be gory. It needs to be a splatter fest. It needs no to be. CG. It's no all CG. No CG. Practical effects. Yes, yes. Uh, what is it? Is it? Go. Is okay. It Muppets I've got to go for it. Okay, it's, 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 it's pub, yeah. Oh, no. Wait, those meet the feebles. Yeah. That's horrible. Um, if, has anyone seen Meet the Feebles? Good. Oh, it's so, so someone, good. Someone, someone like... back there has seen it. Um, you don't like Meet the Feebles? Man, it's amazing. It is amazing, but it's not a film I want to watch again, you know? It's horrible. It feels, it feels dirty. Like, I they made it in an old paint warehouse. I need a shower warehouse. afterwards. Yeah. And bleach. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. I was just sat there in the shower just crying. Really? At what I'd seen. I thought it was amazing. What is wrong with you? <laughs> it was really funny. I thought you were into pickaxes. I'm into a lot of things. The song, the weather... Do we need to explain a bit of what Meet the Feebles is? Because um, one the... person's seen it here. So the movie is basically... It starts out and it's like The Muppets Show, if you've seen The Muppets Show before. And they're doing like The Muppets Show <laughs> performance, and it's all really cutesy. It's all puppets, and uh, it's just very wholesome. Then they cut... And, like, the show producer comes in, and then they all start doing drugs, and... Because the, the puppets are actually the actors. They're the actors. The whole thing is just all done with puppets. And some of the characters are filming, like, snuff films in the basement. There's, like, murders. There's gangs. There's a guy, the weird dude that goes around sniffing panties. It's yeah. just... Drugs, Vietnam flashbacks. Vietnam flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's an amazing song about sodomy. Yeah. This is from, This is Peter Jackson that directed this. Esteemed yeah. director of Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah. Oscar winning. Uh, and <laughs> it's just it's vile, yeah. but really funny. Oh my god. So what was the question? Pete, you got to come up with a film for Peter Jackson to make because he's going back to his low-budget roots. So yeah. And the whole Jackson... time we were doing that, I was like, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, think of a movie, think of can a movie. You, can you imagine if Peter Jackson was like, now's the time, meet the Feebles too. <laughs> You've all I been would... waiting. $250 million budget. <laughs> I would watch that. Oh, my God. Oh, but it has to be something that is, is back to, like, actual low budget. And I'm trying to think, like, for me, like, I love Cronenberg films as well, you know, like body horror, and we need some gore in there. Ooh. I'm trying to think how to link a Cronenberg thing, people morphing into other people. Uh, I love The Brood. Brood? I haven't seen Brood. Brood. No. Oh, God. It's, it's the one that's got Oliver Reed as a psychiatrist in it, and he's amazing in it, and it's so incredibly... It's body horror thing, is it? Yes. What's the yeah. body horror? What's the angle? I mean, it's a bit spoilery, but basically, it's not so much spoilery, but um, there's, there's weird sort of clone dwarf things that go out and murder people, okay. and somehow that's connected to people's sort of emotional trauma. So, yeah. Okay, because... I've just, I've just, I think I've just come up with something. Okay, so let's, let's link... Uh, a Peter Jackson low-budget horror movie with Night at the Museum. We're in a, we're in a small New Zealand town, okay? They, have, okay? they have a small museum. You've got, like, the, the mammoth exhibit, the mummy thing, the, you know. And somehow they come to life, and instead of it being a fun adventure, it's like a bloody massacre with all these things breaking out of the museum and Does taking over Does it look like town. it's going to be a comedy, a light-hearted romp? It's got to be a slapstick splatter thing, because that's like Peter Jackson's early stuff, isn't it? Like, Brain Dead, all that stuff. And in the way that Brain Dead ends with... Uh, Sorry, we keep jumping all over. But Brain Dead was a zombie <laughs> film, Peter Jackson's zombie film, where it, it's like uh, got the famous, like one of the bloodiest scenes ever, where a guy attacks a bunch of zombies with a lawnmower. We need a guy who's trying to, maybe the, maybe it's the janitor or the museum curator or somebody who works there who's done this thing and he's trying to get everything back into the museum, but ends up just massacring everything and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bloody massacre at the end in the museum. It's the janitor and he's got like a mop and he murders everything. Yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's kind of good. Okay. Um, I love it. I would watch that film. That sounds amazing. But it's it's not at the museum, but it's New Zealand, so you just have to pronounce it Night at the Museum. Night, like, night that's at the night. Museum. Night. I don't know. What, what could the title be for that that isn't Night at the Museum? Fright like, at the Museum. Oh! Done. Isn't it? <laughs> Fright at the Museum. Uh, I like it. Pow. Okay, so we need the rating for Fright oh, at God. the Museum. Man, this is my favourite one so far. Don't um, sway the, don't oh, sway the clap on I mean, I hate it. Yeah. Don't... Um, Three, two, one. 
Oh, come on. They love that's, it. That's a good one. They love that's it. That's a seven out of ten on IMDb. Oh, thank you. Seven thank out of ten. You. Ooh, very good. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Nice. Uh, who is your favorite movie character of all time? Oh, my God. <laughs> Didn't, didn't you guys, like, write... Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I realised that as we were writing. I was like, I have no answer. For, I have no answer for this. I'm trying to think who I look at on screen and go, like, uh, like who gives me that... Oh, that Chris warm... Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> you count as a character. Mm, yeah, he kind of is, like, that Chris Pratt character every time. I mean, can you name any character that he's played in a movie? Chris Pratt. Jurassic World, what was the name of his character? John Dino. <laughs> 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 um... Okay, I've got, I've got one. It, it, it goes back to my past when I was... Okay, oh. so, young, young boy watching Star Wars. And oh, my I favourite character, watching it, seven years old, bought the, the VHS tapes, and I wanted to be old Obi-Wan Kenobi. Really? The, I, oh. I have always wanted to be an old man. I like... I like I, uh, it just, I don't know what it was, but, you know, walk around in a bed sheet with my, my brown bread bed sheet pretending to be old man Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't, I don't know what it was. I, don't, I, I, just, I just think... And I think he's just a classic... Character of cinema. He was like a hermit. He yeah, was... that's that's it. That's my life. Alone man. for decades. What it is, just just secluded, live in a cave somewhere. Don't you know? Oh. no, it was, it was the it was the it was the. I think what it was was the. Uh, he's an old guy, but underneath he's like got got super powerful. You know, very wise old man who has something bubbling beneath the surface. You know. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I'll be the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean uh, Hob- Hobbs. Hobbs from the F- Fast and the Furious movies? Wait, if you could be anyone. Or is it Shaw? It's one of them. Yeah, I'll be him. The character I, whose name I don't know. Because if he's got this raw power. Maybe I'll be Maui for Moana. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> okay. And he could change into all sorts of animals with his magic hook. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that. Before. So shape-shifting, that's good. That's a really good superpower. That's good power. And he's strong. You want to be an animal. And he invented all sorts of things and brought them to humans, like fire, maybe? Maybe. Question mark? He's Bowie. got tattoos and they move and dance. Really? And they get angry at him when he's, when he's naughty. <laughs> oh. I'd like that, a tattoo that just says, you're being naughty. <laughs> but it only says that when I'm naughty, so it always <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> weird, weird thing to have. <laughs> Where would you have this tattoo? On my forehead. <laughs> Just as a warning. <laughs> Simon's being naughty. <laughs> okay. So who would you be then? <laughs> if, if it's... The guy that drinks his own piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me, give me fucking fishy piss guy. He's <laughs> got gills. He drinks his own piss. Great. <laughs> Like, what are you, what are you, when you're thinking of favourite, what are you thinking of? Are you, like, one you relate to most, or the coolest, or... Mystique. I, don't know. Mm. <laughs> I can be Maui, and you can be Mystique. Wait, so you can you transform can... into anything, and I can turn into anyone? And I make myself look like Mystique, and you make yourself look like Maui, and then we make out. <laughs> <laughs> your naughty tattoo is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> That's still on your head. <laughs> Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh. Great. Should, should we do? Should we do a pitch? You haven't pitched one yet, a, have you? Oh, do a, okay. Do a mystery box. Do, do, a, does, do a. Does Simon want to pick one for oh, you? Oh, I haven't looked in the mystery box yet. Oh, it's just as magical as I imagined. <laughs> yeah, it isn't just a random box I found in the office. Is this the box that you got one of your weird like city things in? No, it's just a. It was a weird little miniature. It's just building. like a sticky box I found. Mm. Oh, it's a bit sticky. What's this? It's a long one. Oh, okay. So this this was this was one that I came up with a movie title that you have to create a movie pitch for. My three D printed girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking mention Seth Rogen. He's not in it. Okay. Okay. So Seth Rogen. Yeah. Fuck. Has just gone through a breakup. Um, he works at. Oh, who was his girlfriend? Who's his ex girlfriend? Emma Stone. <gasps> um. Sure, Emma Stone. Sure. They just broke up. Um, they both work at a 3D printing company, developing 3D printers. Right. And it's convenient. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's um, also this movie's like definitely made in the 80s, but then those guys now. 
I like want that real, like, 80s sort of look. Oh, set in the 80s. Yeah, but also, I want the whole look. Can you 3D print in the 80s? I think this will be... A These will be, like, sci-fi 3D. Yeah, see, it's an I alternate see, okay. history. I see. And um, he is having to... She's his boss Oh, as right. well. Um, and they are not in love anymore. And oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> he Alexa wants, played this, but he's <laughs> He wants to 3D print a girlfriend using the things, and he has to slowly be building her. Uh, but there'll be all kinds of shenanigans with like the arm crawling off. Wait, is this what was that movie? Weird Science. Weird Science. Is that the one? They make a woman. Am I just describing that, but with 3D printers? Quite possibly. Yeah. Oh fuck. Or oh, what if it's like um, Frankenhooker, where he looks at different women's body parts and he picks them and he 3D prints those different body parts. Perfect. Okay, right. So, it's like that, but we're going to go full full horror with this. Yeah. So, you know, they've got, like, you know, 3D printers that can print, you know, plastic, resin, sort of like sandstone. Yeah. They've got, like, metal ones. This, this crazy guy... He feeds, like, meat into it. Oh. People meat. But it's only, like, what? this big, so you can only print, like, a, a small portion oh, of Oh, I want time. there to be, like, a big, like, blender thing, and he's, like, jammed, yeah. like, a leg in, <laughs> right. and right. Uh, 3D prints um, a girlfriend. Oh, God. But I like what he was saying, where it's, like, Frankenstein. So you print an arm, and then you, but you've then just got a meaty arm, yeah, and then yeah. another bit, and then you have to, like, stitch it all together. So yeah, like yeah. So Frankenstein. Yeah. Put all, all that together. together. Something like that. It's alive! It's alive! He'll have that moment. Yeah, is that trademark? And then she'll say, like, her, what will her first line be when she's conscious? Her eyes flicker open. It would just be Seth Rogen going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh Seth Rogen's voice like comes out <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, no, I accidentally programmed my personality into her. My ideal woman, the 3D-printed girlfriend, is me. And that's the great twist. Okay, pal, I feel like we should just end this and get it rated okay. as... Uh, what, what's the title? My well, it's oh, my three, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Girlfriend. Cool. Thank All right, you. let's rate it. What do you guys think of the 3D printed girlfriend? Uh, three, two, one. Yeah. That's two out of ten Ooh. on IMDb. Ooh, 3D printed but girlfriend. But it was never going to be good. That was... <laughs> I can't imagine, you know, my 3D printing girlfriend being top of the hit parade. <laughs> yeah. What is the movie you've seen the most? That should be, like, an easy... Yeah. For me, it's just Lord of the Rings. How many times have you seen hundreds Lord of the Rings? Of times. Hundreds of times. And the making of hundreds of times. That's why we do Foley Ship, that stream, where we just How replace all the audio to it. How are sick of it? Well, I, have, I haven't watched it in a, in a while. Uh, but we've gone back and we do, we're remaking all the sound effects on the stream. And it just warms my heart every week to see Ooh. to see the Lord of the Rings up there. Every Wednesday like, at 11 a.m. Oh, you got it. That's very good. But um, oh, I love it so much. It just feels... That's how I got into, like, movies, really. Like, you know, I saw it. It came out when I was about 10, the first one. Oh, God, um, Sorry, Simon. So <laughs> and I just watched it on repeat for years and years and years. And then all the behind the scenes... You've, have you seen the making of Lord of the Rings? All yeah. Those behind the scenes? Yeah. Extended edition. Oh, so, so good. That's how I learned about cameras, wanted to do editing, wanted to do movies. Damn. Um, That's, that film has made you the man that you are today. It's, it's my foundation. God damn. And why Peter Jackson always has a very special place in my heart. I think that explains a lot, because <laughs> Meet the Feebles is what made me the man uh, today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That does explain a lot. Oof. So what is your most seen film? Jesus. I'm not even sure what it would be. I, I, I wish that I watched everything on like the same sort of platform and it so like at the end of the year like with spotify it would come up with oh what you well, oh. like on steam hours hours watch <laughs> yeah you've watched casino royale four times this year is everything like, all right <laughs> <laughs> okay like yeah it's a good movie i like putting it on sometimes when i was a kid i watched um ghostbusters 2 wow the second one Ooh. i watched it over and over and over again i taped it off the telly on a vhs cassette we got him everybody yeah. we got him <laughs> This is, this is what the whole yours cast has been about. Has Catching anyone you seen from my recording. walker? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it might have actually got caught in the, the VHS player because it had been playing so much it broke the tape. So I must have watched that a lot. Yeah. I couldn't say how many times, like 20 or something. It probably didn't take many rewatches. Is 20 really the most? For me, I, I'm, yeah. 
Have you watched Lord of the Rings more than 20 times? Literally 100 times. What Must the have been. fuck? That's a lot of time. All lot of time. the other movies you could have watched instead of Lord of the Rings. I watched Toy Story about a good 100 times when I was a kid. Oh, oh my God. God. I, can, I can pretty much like still say that word for word. Scene five. How's that open? It, it, it's me, Woody. Oh, my God. I got a snake in my book. Oh, my God. You got, got it. You fucking got it. Howdy, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> very, oh. very good. Very strong. Thank you. Thank it's you. pity applause. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. So I'd say Labyrinth is all. Oh. Yes, okay. um, as a child, I was obsessed with the movie Labyrinth. Um, is it and because of um, David Bowie? And his no. <laughs> although. His area. <laughs> As like as a kid, like, like I used to come home from school and basically watch that film every day, and until we got to the final like uh, MC Escher scene, because I didn't like that song, so I'd always just like turn it off. But man, just that movie, like because I really really like fantasy, I quite enjoy puppets, um, and it's like quite like not like dark fantasy, but it's like kind of grim. It's it's, not... it's about a child being kidnapped. It's about like much. a child being kidnapped, but all the monsters are weird and. The good guys don't really look like stereotypical good guys. Hoggle is Yeah, cool. really. Like, just Hoggle, absolutely loved him. Um, Ludo was my favourite. Bad smell! Ludo smell! Like, yeah. just all of that. Um, I just watched that so much. Oh, it freaked me out too much to watch. I used to hate... There's, like, I loved Muppets, but, like, the puppets that got too realistic freak me out oh, so yeah. the head in art attack was my worst nightmare oh I, I loved That's art attack was one of my favorite shows oh. and the head just made me run out of the room there was this it was if you haven't because there are people from everywhere here aren't there i don't know if you haven't seen art attack it's a show where neil buchanan the wonderful neil buchanan makes art and it would cut occasionally to a segment where there's like a uh, the bust like a head a head on a in a museum and it would wave around like this. And I was like, oh, I can't deal with this. I had to get it out really of that like room. It really waved its head around. Really well. intense. Yeah. But it was like a very realistic face as well. Ugh. Ugh. Not, not into him. So that's why I didn't watch Labyrinth. Do you like Dark Crystal? I have. Because that has creepier puppets. Yeah, no, no, no. They are night nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Those, oh. Because I'm going to watch, the, they're, they're remaking it, right, on Netflix. They're doing, um, no, it's a sequel. Okay. I think. Oh, it's like a little mini-series they did. Citation needed. I think it's like a sequel. Yeah. But it's all it does lead off the previous movie. Oh, okay. I'm but excited. I think it's like a mini-series. Yeah, that's coming out pretty soon. Would you like to do a movie pitch, Simon? Uh, pitch the movie titled, They Came From Not Here. Oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> what are you thinking? A- alien, alien movie? It's an alien like, invasion movie. Mm-hmm. It's like a small rural town in England, mm-hmm. and a, a spaceship arrives one right. day, and the locals freak out, and as the usual, so it goes through the motions of a sort of alien invasion movie. They, it's not like, like there's a siege in a pub, maybe, um, sort of like... Um, Shaun of the, the Dead? Yeah, Shaun of the Dead kind of style. But Wait, or what about the other movie they did where it is literally aliens and they're in a pub as well? The world's oh, end, yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> the style of that was completely different, wasn't it? Like, it wasn't a typical alien invasion movie. But in this, there are aliens, and the aliens, they do look just like people, and that's the big twist. The big twist is the aliens are humans, and they are invading an alien planet Ooh. that just so happens to look like rural Gloucester. <laughs> So the aliens are people from Earth. Yeah. And they're going to a place which is identical to Earth, but is another planet. Yeah. So, like, you know, the, the, the locals defeat the alien invaders, mm. and they're like, oh, time to celebrate. And then they do some weird alien shit to celebrate. <laughs> oh, yeah, their heads just open sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they make out doing that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and they spray, like, horrible, like, Must. purple jism everywhere. Mm. And, you know, they drink, but they drink, you know, using, using their feet. They pour water over their oh. feet. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Because they're in a that. pub, of course. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how they celebrate. Um, and they're like, oh, and then we go, oh, my God, they were aliens. And then we look at, like, the wreck of the spaceship they've destroyed. And, like, on the side, it's, it says, like, Elon Musk SpaceX <laughs> 2000 or right. whatever. And we're like, oh, my God. It was us all along. That's the big twist. Okay. 
I like that. <laughs> but what does the audience think? That's the real test. You, you, it doesn't matter what we think. No. What's the title again? Have you got it there? They came, came from, from not here. Came from not here. Okay, so three, two, one. <laughs> this is like, that's pretty good. That feels like a like eight? A seven, an eight. Yeah, that was good. Eight out of ten Very IMDb. Good. Holy shit. Here. I didn't even mention like the star of it. It's Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 7.9. Oh, oh well. What movie setting would you most like to live in? Oh. We well, most like to live in. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep going out because I was going to say the Shire. That was my immediate response. Oh. You, want I can't, I can't... you want to live in the Overlook Hotel? No, no. The Shire. The Lord of the Rings. Oh, the, God, Shire. I said the Shining. <laughs> no, not the Shining. I want to live in the Shining. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in a hobbit hole, you know, uh, eating food. Relaxing, going to parties and all that sort of stuff, you know. You can just do that, just like, in your That kind of is life. what I do. Like yeah, rural yeah. Gloucestershire. I just, I just live in my house. But the, the most interesting settings that I always think about, when I, every time I walk down the street and I'm looking around, it's always, what would this be like if it was post-apocalyptic? You know, if there were no rules, if oh. there was no one around, if I was the, if I was, if I was the only one here. You were the last so man alive. I want to know what, what that's like. That, that's where my brain goes. So I don't necessarily love to live there, but I wouldn't know what this it's like. This is weird, because, like, the character that you most like is Obi-Wan, a hermit that just lives by himself. Yeah, that's it. And your favourite setting is just being alone. Oh, God, we're going to uncover <laughs> something. Yeah, I just, just want to be what? alone. Or... Oh, no, man. Yeah. Would you go full post-apocalyptic if you were living there? What, Mohawk? Which post-apocalyptic character chaps. would you be? Like who? who do I want to be or who would I be? Really? Because oh, I would be the guy on a chain on the motorbike. Amazing. The Mad Max 2, just oh. someone's, someone's just like slave. I'm not, I, I haven't got any physical strength. I haven't got any tenacity. I can't fight. I'm pretty wily. You know, I'm, I'm like, got my wits about me. So I'd, I'd, be a, I'd be a sort of like rat man who like skitters around and hides in bins. That would be, okay. oh my God. that would be how I'd live. And that's, that's how you see yourself. That's, that's, your, that's how you would like to live. <laughs> as a rat man going through bins that's in a world that's just been ravaged. I'd feel safe. You know, you get inside the bin and it's like quiet and safe. And you know, <laughs> once again, God, that's like Oscar the Grouch. And, and then, you, and then you, you scatter around to the next bin, but you get to, no one's around, you know, just... I feel like I've learned too much about oh you. Oh, my God. I think I've learned something about myself. <laughs> oh, my God. I kind of want to know what you'd be doing in the post-apocalypse. We're, going, we're going off the sheets now. Oh, Our no. Our carefully prepared uh, segments. Oh, you know, you know I would be like the fucking, the general... Um, what's his name? Fury Rose. Oh, yeah, yeah f with the what's his name? Oh, the the people eater. The man. Joe. Uh, Imper oh, Morton uh, Joe. Morton Joe. Yeah, it would you be know, him. His. What about his goon with the? I'd have like all these notes. blood transfusions from you know, the Tom Hazel. He'd be gone. <laughs> they were, like, all of his blood in my yeah. body. <laughs> the, he'd be gone. You'd get blood boys. <laughs> yeah. to um, Keep you going. Definitely. I mean, in effect, that's sort of. Metaphorically, what I do anyway, <laughs> I just is, leech. Is this like the red room at the office that I'm <laughs> oh not allowed God. to go into? <laughs> Does you take like an intern in there? Oh, you mean the server room? <laughs> right, the server room, because that's the only door that's like properly locked inside. Yeah. It's just that's just where like all the mochis are. Oh my God! <laughs> There's dozens of them, like battery hens. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's the first mochi? That's like the 17th. Oh wow. Um, you get through them. I do. I just, all of their blood in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> crack one open. <laughs> <laughs> Drink oh the blood. Oh, God. That's Oof. horrible. Wow, Simon Lane. So, yeah, that's how I would live. <laughs> what about you? Drinking your own piss on a raft? I guess. Like, I'm not even that strong a swimmer. So, I don't think Waterworld would be God. great. Yeah, that would be terrible if you can't swim. And I'd like to be like, sort of like, you know, Lord Humongous or someone like that. Mm. Okay. Because um, you get like, what? you know, the sort of like the bondage straps. That's a great look in the post apocalypse. And no one gets to see yeah. your face. I was going to say, would you wear the mask? Would you have a <coughs> mask on? I think a mask is cool. Uh, what if you grew your beard really long and folded it over your face like that? Wow. Tied it back to your hair and made little eye holes in it? That sounds horrific, but... <laughs> Why not? Stuff like the Wolf Man or something, you know, the something Wolf like Man. that. Beardo. Beardo, the Wolf Man, Beardo. Beardo, the Wolf Man. It's the post-apocalypse, so you, can, you know, when in Rome, <laughs> yeah. just do whatever you want. Like, have like 
nipple rings and my beard will be plaited through those. Ooh, That's yeah. a look. What about like nipple rings all the way down like that and your beard goes all the way down your body? Ooh. Well, like, no, like because I feel cat. like you're setting up for there to be a scene where someone rips, rips them, them and, uh, ding, 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 yeah. and pings That's, them away. That's true. I don't want that happening. <laughs> um, I don't want anything that can be easily like ripped off That's of me. True. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the beard's fine. I can see you as a Lord Humongous type. I'd like that, like a... Mortals! You know, just like you could Yeah, yeah, like guy. shouting at people. Yeah. I'd happily have you on the back of my bike. Rat boy. Just on a chain. Just like give me a little box on the back of your, like, vehicle, and I'll, like, poke out like this. Oh, thing. okay, like a, <laughs> like, like a pet yeah, carrier. exactly, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Throw me some trash every now and again. <laughs> sure. Take it into You've been box. a good boy. Here, have some trash. <laughs> oh. Did you ever see the movie Doomsday? Have you seen I that? I don't know what that is. Neil Marshall? Is that Neil Marshall? Yeah. The, like, Scotland post-apocalypse And it's movie. all gone medieval. Oh. It's gone a bit medieval. There's lots of cannibalism. Um, and that, there's just that one guy in a gimp suit. There was a great scene of a rabbit getting shot by, by like, an automatic turret. <laughs> <laughs> Bryony's on the camera. <laughs> <Just Brian. laughs> so Jesus sorry. Christ. Like, there's just a moment where they're talking about, there's, like, a wall. They've rebuilt Hadrian's Wall. Okay. And they mount these automatic guns because oh, there was this um, yeah, plague cool. breakout. And they're like, the only way we can stop it, build Hadrian's Wall. Yeah. Um, and they put auto guns oh, on okay. top. And it turns out some people survived the plague. Like, 1% of people were immune. Uh, the plague is broken out somewhere else. It's, like, broken out in London or something. Yeah. And they, they need to go in to find out how these people survived the plague and see mm -hmm. if they can have a cure. And they're talking about, like, oh, there's, like, the... M79 super auto guns that will kill anything that comes nearby. And just this rabbit's head comes out of a hole, and then just this turret goes, oh my God. and just the rabbit just explodes. <laughs> and it's just such a gratuitous, like, yeah. ooh, wow, <laughs> dead. Where would you like to live? <laughs> Where would I like to live? Oh my God, that's the that's one of the questions. Answered. Answered. Yeah. So depending on who I could be in this setting, do you get to choose who you are? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm Rat Boy. <laughs> I thought you were a hobbit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Has that now been... Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of being Rat Boy a lot like more than being a hobbit. Oh, no. Um, uh, <laughs> thank God, I just have... I'm just picturing you as the Mad Max 2, the kid with the boomerang. Well, oh, God, yeah, the wild boy. That can't talk. <laughs> And with yeah, the oh music box, and you just laugh yeah. like a psychopath. <laughs> that That's guy. my rat laugh. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I do. That's weird. <laughs> what do you? What do you do? I do like this. I like you. So Simon sat there in his big throne. Yeah. Um, he's got like a like a basket full of mochis. He like <laughs> yeah. breaks one open. Well, I can see you two going to war with each other. Slurps it down, but him throwing the, ah. the carcass over his shoulder and just like. You scurry out of your hole, <laughs> look around, <laughs> and like take my box. And just, yeah, and just eat the scraps, the, the, the mm. remnants of this little dog. What if? Do you remember? When... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe it. Mochi's here. Oh no! Mochi heard us talking about it. Simon, they they told us that we were getting snacks halfway through. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the 17th hung? Mochi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, bless her heart. What's left of it? Um, <laughs> well, so, uh, maybe, I, I like, um, it doesn't sound great, but like a dystopian sort of setting. Mm. I don't know, like something like Blade Runner. Ooh. I think something, Ooh. I want it just always to be raining. Lots of neon. Lots of noodles. Um, mm. I like yeah. noodles. Mm. I'd have a fucking mecha snake if I could have one. I'm, I'm trying to think great. what you would. I'm, I'm thinking of Blade Runner, like the guy who does the eyes. Like you know, you'd be in your freezer, or you know, you have like a job. What job could you do? Like making the eyes, making. Ooh, I'd want to be someone. Oh wait, actually, this sounds terrible. To like. <laughs> <laughs> the Rid, first thing Rid, that came Rid to my crowd, head yeah. was um, so assuming people have got uh, like cyber cybernetics. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, yeah. Once again, I don't. This is bad. My mind oh, went here Jesus. first. We'll edit, it, we'll edit it out. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm the guy who's got this, like, backyard garage um, shop. Ooh, okay. That, uh, Black market body parts kind of thing. But have goons that bring people in, and we snatch their mecha parts okay. and then sell them to I other like people. That. that works. That was literally the first place, like, that's who I'd be. That, like, that, yep, yep. Which sounds like, um, horrific. Peter Stomer in Minority Report. 
He, um, is, Tom, he the, is he the eye guy? Yeah, Tom Cruise is given a new pair of eyes. Oh my god, from, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. So you're like him. I want to be like slime, him. You're like a slimy doctor yeah. in, a, in a greasy, horrible apartment. Yeah, but, but I want it to look like a chop shop. Okay. Um, There's constantly the sounds of like soaring. Yeah, yeah. Hammering. There'll be guy like sparks coming yeah, out. Yeah. These welding masks. Um, Wasn't it? Was it um, like Doctor Z in Borderlands? He was like the guy. The a bit like that, but he was more just like just a psychopath. bad, bad psychopathic <laughs> yeah. doctor. So you're not a psychopath. No, no, I'm an entrepreneur. But you harvest <laughs> cybernetic implants from still living people. Well, they're yeah. not living for long, I guess. Damn. Well, so where would you like to live, Simon? <laughs> Moving on. I mean, I always quite like the idea of. Um, I mean, it's more of a TV series, but Star Trek. The sort okay. of like. You know, oh humanity has overcome conflicts. It's like a utopian society. <laughs> There's no... It's not even money anymore. Any, anything you want, you can pretty much get. There's, you know... You can just teleport around places if you want. But, you know, transporters. So you no longer have to worry about, you know, long flights anywhere. Mm. You're just, you know, bam, you're there. Are you thinking you'd be on just a planet, uh, or would you be... Well, I'm, no, I'm thinking I'm still uh, here in Bristol, but okay. instead yeah, of, yeah. like, taking a taxi to the office, I can just keep teleport. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just makes... So it, you, just, you save about ten minutes a day, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I want to wow. do. Yeah. I think that'd be, that'd be quite good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, I don't have to go to, like, a coffee shop or anything. I can just go, you know... Uh, oh, no, coconut milk mocha hot. <laughs> and it comes out. Because you have to say okay. hot, otherwise they presumably give it to you cold. I think that's how it works. Because Picard always says, because you don't watch Star Trek, okay. but Picard always goes, tea, oh great, hot. And it comes out. But if he doesn't say hot, does he just give him an iced tea made with <laughs> Earl Grey? I don't know what the logic is. It's a stupid idea. I don't want to live there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a new subject? Yeah, let's do a Do you want to do a, a, do a pitch? Oh, I feel like we've not had a pitch in a while, though. Oh, okay, let's just do a pitch then. Pitch the ti movie titled Field Mouse. Field Mouse. I'm trying to think. It, it sounds like a bit of a arty movie. Okay. You know, someone who is in themselves a field mouse. What? What? A field mouse like a timid thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or we could just have a giant sci-fi thing that's chopping up a field and there's a mouse in it. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I'm into that. That's okay. Good. Okay. So let's say it's on a planet where. Everything, it, it's, it's like Earth, but everything is, is like ten times as big as it would be, so it's almost like we're tiny, right? Field if mouse everything, size. If everything's ten times bigger, then everything's still the same size. No, Nothing. except for human beings. Human oh. beings are the size of, of mice. So humans visit the alien planet? No, 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 it's just, it's, uh, it's alternate world. The, the people who live on that planet are the size of field, field mice, yeah? Okay, okay. okay. Right. So uh, we have adapted to live in uh, blades of grass. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, can you hollow out like pl hollow out plants? It's the borrowers. Like, like, it's it's the borrowers Ooh. being a field, and uh, but the thing is, so it's the, the borrowers live a lovely life in this field until uh, full size. Oh no, it's too similar to you. I was going to say full sized humans come down. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. But it turns oh, out. Oh, I like this. I'm I'm into this. Okay. So so every every day at like three o'clock, the the giant. Uh, saw comes down. The combine harvester. And, and churns, like, churns, churns the field, and they have to get out of the way. And where will this go? It's going somewhere. I'm thinking it's a bit like the mortal engines. With right. the giant moving cities, but the moving cities are combine harvesters <laughs> on a field. Yes, okay, okay, I can go for that. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I'm thinking, like, pet, Petri... It's all, it, it, they're actually, like, on a Petri dish, or they're, like... This is going... They were in a bead in the collar of, on a, oh, collar of a cat oh the entire God. time. A cat that would, like, have a tiny lawnmower that it would, like... How do we get the lawnmower in there? We need the combine harvester in there. This didn't go well. This, this one didn't do so great. Hey, audience folk! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't believe them. Two... <laughs> 2.5 out of 10 yeah, okay, okay. <gasps> People. Okay. Oh, here we go. This better be fucking good. It's 1966. It's the World Cup. 
England are in the final. Oh my Jeff God, Perth no. <laughs> has suffered a terrible accident. They have to bring on their substitute, it's a mouse, Field Mouse. Field mouse. Boom! The... <laughs> I love it. Amazing. I love it. Is it actually Eight out of ten IMDb. <laughs> Is it actually a mouse? Yeah, it's an actual mouse. So it's like a mashup between just a football film, Ratatouille and Stuart Little. Yes. Do they know the mouse is there? Because it would just look like the ball is just moving on its own, you know, like that, around the field. Yeah. The mouse is an actual player with a tiny shirt. They use real mice when they filmed it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. A lot died. <laughs> like, the first take, when they passed the ball to it, it just splattered. <laughs> the first, the first time it, someone tackled the mouse. Like, we just... could just CG the mouse in. <laughs> no, nope. oh. gotta be real. Oh, what is your opinion of food at the cinema? So you go into the cinema, you sat down, um, there's no adverts, it's, you came in late, the main movie's about to start, you hear like a tin being opened right behind you. A tin? A tin. Someone's got a tinny. They can't oh, open a not pos- like a tin of peaches. Not opening like a tin of beans <laughs> tin of beans. cinema. No, they are actually opening a tin of beans <laughs> at the cinema. Someone sat next to you has got a tin of beans and they're just... <laughs> Really loudly open. Yeah. They're eating with their mouth open. The thing that I don't mind about that is it's not warm food, so it's not particularly like smelly. So they've also got it's a, tin a of fish supper. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, like I went to see a film once, and the the girl who was sitting next to me was eating dried fish snacks, and Ooh. occasionally would just like burp out of the side of her <laughs> oh mouth and oh. off over my face. That was the, the worst food instant of the cinema. Oh, that is oh. so bad. Because I'm so conscious about food myself. So if I have popcorn, it would be, I will put it in my mouth and then it goes, the, the movie goes quiet and I'll hold, hold it in my mouth <laughs> until it goes quiet and then gently, gently bite down because oh. I'm like, everyone around me is just listening. I'm so, so conscious. I don't mind other people having popcorn. You don't want to hear someone tut at you. <laughs> Chewing his popcorn. What does he think this is, a fucking cinema? <laughs> I once took a bag of Sensations crisps into the cinema. Oh, Sensations. Like Other lemon, lemon chicken. Available. And I, I got in there without... Th- I was like 14 years old, and I got in there, and I was like, oh, crisps were a bad choice. So I just started eating the crisps and just sucked through the entire pack <laughs> so I didn't have to chew it. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Sucking crisps. In my bin. My rat bin. <laughs> rat boy. <laughs> Sucking on my crisps. Um, so I'm personally very conscious of the noise I'm making, but I don't generally mind other people making a bit of noise. Have you heard of those uh, cinemas where they actually serve your full meal and you sit and you eat and, with a knife and fork? Man, I'd, I'd do that. I don't know if I could, like, paying attention to, like, the food and the... Oh, yeah, actually. I try and get through the popcorn before the movie starts, so I'm just, like, not really... You want to eat the food that you can just grab and That's put in your mindless mouth. That's mindless. Yeah, you can yeah. sit and, like, doing. eat popcorn yeah. fully. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's that thing of, like, because I'm, I'm too conscious of what I'm doing. So when the movie starts, it is like, oh, I'm being too noisy. So it's just, I'm more relaxed if I get through an entire bag of popcorn and then just sit there for the entire movie, just not doing anything. Like, food noises, that's fine. That's what people do. Yeah. Like, if people are talking, oh, yeah. ooh, man, that, that rustles my jimmies. Yeah. <laughs> it was an important <laughs> phone <summer>. call. <laughs> Pitch the movie, pull up. Pull up, exclamation mark. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Do you hate it? Do you want to I hate it. I hate the pull up. I thought I like purged the trash one. <laughs> pull up. What about pull out? <laughs> pull out. No, oh that's not God. that one. <laughs> really reptile f- house. <laughs> reptile. Reptile house. house. Oh God! I just want that scene. What was it in? Was it in a razor? The movie. The, the alligator. Or yeah, what? that whole scene in the reptile house. Like I just want that. Also, isn't there that crocodile horror movie coming out soon? Cru- oh God! Called crawl, crawl. Is it crawl? The one where the house is flooding and the is that the the director of Don't there. Breathe and the Evil Dead remake? I think it's the I same so. guy. Inexplicably, is doing cool. I'm going to pitch that movie. There's, a re- there's just that. a reptile in the house. The reptile house. Reptile house. But instead of like a dangerous alligator, it's oh another reptile. It's an iguana in the walls. The there's an iguana in the walls. Oh, it's in the walls. Yeah, what's like. What's a good reptile that hasn't been, like, the focus of a movie? Frogs. How often do you get, f- like, killer frogs turning they're up They're amphibians. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but they're normally in the reptile house. Fuck anyway. it. Frogs are allowed. 
Frog House. Frog House. Frog House. Um, yeah, sure, have a movie. House of Frogs. Oh, that would, yeah, I mean. yeah, like you're sitting on the sofa and then the, the, the roof caves in and you're just covered in, in frogs. Like... Oh, you can't just... You've got you to start a slow burn. One frog at a time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Right. <laughs> wow, that would be, that'd be good. Okay, yeah. I'm into that. Yeah, that's it. Bosh. Giant ghost frog. Giant ghost frog. Do we have to get the audience to cheer that one? Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. It's nine out of ten. Oh my god. god. Sleep, sleeper hit of the year. <laughs> wow. Ghost frog house. Ghost frog house. <laughs> it made um, it's made uh, three hundred and fifty million at the box office whoa. off a of three million budget. Oh my god. It's brought well, the new Blair Witch. Um everyone... you know how how Blair Witch started a whole raft of the subgenre of fan footage. Mm. You've started the genre of frog movies. Frog, frog movies, ghost frog movies. Um, yeah, I feel like it's that's the one. We did it. We did it, Chief. Time up. Time up. Time up. We've outstayed our welcome, uh, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Thank you. To this rambling thank mess. Um, stay tuned. I hope you all have a wonderful Yogcon. Yeah. We'll see you around. See you around. <laughs>